I'm Gloria Strode and welcome to Straightforward. We are celebrating victories. We are celebrating survivors. And our awesome community advocate, Cheryl Johnson and Miss Adderley. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. And you are a survivor. Yes. I think I'm going on two years now. Two years. Yeah, awesome. And of course, Cheryl has been out on the battlefield for how long? How long have you been doing this? Well, uh, it's probably been 10 years, but longer because I was part of the board. And so I've been with the West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition since the inception, since 2001. Really? Yeah. Time has really moved. Oh my goodness, it has grown. And so you went from being a board member yes. to being the president and CEO. President right. and CEO. And that was in 2008. 2008. So you already got 10 years. That's right. and then you got <laughs> so with West Central Georgia, where is that covering? We cover uh, 13 counties. Uh, mm -hmm. We go over to Lee and Russell County in Alabama. Oh, really? And then we so we're in two states. Yeah, we're okay. two states. We're okay. going for a cause, and we'll talk about that in a okay. little bit. Um, but we go as far north as Troop and Meriwether County, mm -hmm. and we go as far south as Sly, uh, Sly County, further further south. So it's encompassing 13 counties within that region. In that West region. Central Georgia and region. depending on if we have special people, we might go a little further. <laughs> but we have college students that need help. Absolutely. We, just, we cast we that net very broad. We, we do. And if they're, you know, live here. Right. This is here, their home of record. Right, home base. But they might right. be in college that's somewhere right, else. And of course, we do know uh, one of your children from church yeah. that you've, you know, raised over the years. That's right. You're able to step in and, and Absolutely. help them, which is good. Yeah. It that's is. Right. That's and so, Miss right. Adderley, share with us. Um, we are celebrating winners. Yes. Yeah. You are here. You are beautiful. You're stunning. Your skin is just all that. Yeah. I mean, and that's why we say you don't look like what you've been through. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so true. you were diagnosed two years ago? Yeah, I was diagnosed in June of 2016 mm -hmm. with um, triple negative breast cancer, stage three. Uh, grade three. I like to call myself the three girl. Mm -hmm. But West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition is the re is how I found out. They kind of saved my life. Really? <laughs> yeah, they did. So, so I'm grateful. what happened? You've just had a normal mammogram. What no, I didn't have any mammogram. I had I'd found a lump uh, a few months ago, and then it grew and it got really huge. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend who I hadn't seen in years, and she said, "Oh, you need to get that check." I couldn't get a check because I didn't have health insurance, <laughs> right? Because so, I just moved here. Okay, see, and that's the thing we I want to make sure we're sharing that. Yes. So you couldn't get it checked because you were new, just relocating, yeah. didn't have health insurance. Right. But what of your friends knew about? West Central West Georgia, Central Cancer, Georgia yes. Cancer Coalition. And called Cheryl, who was on holidays at the time, uh -huh. and then she called her office, uh -huh. and they called me and said they heard, and they set up an appointment like the following day. Really? Yeah, very they quick. Were, yeah, they were on responsive. it. Responsive. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Very responsive. And then I went and saw Dr. Smith, uh -huh. and then he had scheduled a mammogram and a surgical biopsy, uh -huh. right? And then just five days later, he called me in and told me that it was um, cancerous. I didn't believe it, but it was. And uh -huh. from there, I went into six months of chemo. Uh -huh. And after chemo, their, their tumor had returned again. Really? Yeah. And then I had to have a, lump, a radical lumpectomy. Uh -huh. And then, uh, then I did radiation, like uh, 37 days of radiation. You went every day? Every day. Really? Every day, except Saturday. When you have chemo, you have to get a shot, too, every day after chemo. Uh -huh. And it's not a tequila shot. It's <laughs> not a shot of tequila. No. <laughs> no. And, and, you know, and that's what I'm saying when we say we don't look like what we've been through. Because yeah. just to hear, you were stage three yes. when you first found out. Yes. Then you had chemo. You had, did you have radiation? Yes, I did. And your skin is so beautiful. I mean, your hair is there. So all of these things that sometimes make us fearful, then look at you. I mean, you're stunning. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But again, it's because of West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition, because mm -hmm. if it wasn't for them, I would not be sitting here looking so stunning yes. with this great skin. I right. know, skin <laughs> and hair. Really? <laughs> right. Yeah. Because so they, they, they called and they set it up. And even during my treatments when I was going through chemo mm -hmm. and couldn't work and was having challenge financially, mm -hmm. they stepped in and they paid some of my um, living expenses, which was 
uh, mortgage, light, water, really, um, gas. They mm -hmm. even gave me money for for food. Really? Yeah. And so, so I'm a big advocate. Really? Yes. I mean, rightfully so. I yes. mean, and you present very well, and Thank you, you just. Take her everywhere you go. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful yeah. head of hair, beautiful skin. Yeah. I mean, just really, um, right. just a miracle. And that's what our Neighbors Helping Neighbors program is all about. Mm -hmm. um, we have our annual fundraiser every year, which is Paint the Town Peak, and it's coming up October 19th. Mm -hmm. And so those funds that are raised remain right here in our community to help the neighbors that live in our, you know, in our neighborhoods that are, you know, just going the through The people life. that we know. The people that we know. And we're not saying don't support the American Cancer Society or all of that. Those are all great causes. But the difference with the West Georgia mm -hmm. is that it's helping our it's friends, local. our families, and neighbors right. in our region. Right, and right. it remains it remains local. 100% of the funds remain here in our community, and everyone has a purpose. And so, with us, we are a small nonprofit local entity mm -hmm. that does help that. And and the way the Cancer Assistance Fund was was created because there was a lack of need in our community mm -hmm. for cancer patients that were going through life mm -hmm. that needed some assistance with their, you know, as she said, lights, gas, mortgage. And so uh, with that, we came up with the idea of, of a fundraiser. And so our community really has been great in supporting the West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition organization, churches, you name it, corporations, mm -hmm. they support it. Because my goal, and it, it has always been, is to be a good steward of the dollars that's entrusted with the, with the coalition. Well, we know you've had training about being a good steward. <laughs> <laughs> I do know your father and yes. your grandfather the Come famous on. Reverend Avery. Yes, uh, but what we're going to do now, we're going to go to our sponsors, take our first break, and we'll be right back. Okay. We'll be right back after work from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Chalk by Quincy introduces excellence redefined, tying pieces of the finest technology, luxury, and class with tons of style at chalklifestyle.com. Renal Associates LLC, a team of physicians dedicated to excellent kidney care with five convenient locations to serve you. Stark Avenue, Columbus, Bradley Park Drive, Columbus, Lafayette Parkway, LaGrange, West Washington Street, Eufaula, and Spring Street in Warren Springs. Vanessa Jackson's District 3 Successful Scholars Program, supporting students in achieving academic excellence, outstanding citizenship, positive social and cultural growth, believing in success for kids. Dr. Sheikha Shaw Family Medicine, connecting your health to your future. Dr. Shaw prides herself in providing compassionate health care and establishing long-lasting relationships. Conveniently located at 2827 Warm Springs Road, Suite 3B. Call her today at 706-324-4177. B&O Services, consumer-focused personal care homes, providing innovative and integrated services for persons with developmental disabilities. Creating quality experiences with a loving hands approach. For more information, call 706-330-1826 or visit bandoservices.com. History is important because it shows where you're coming from and where you're going. Type 2 diabetes is something that runs in my family, which means I'm at risk. In fact, one in three American adults are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And knowing this, if I do nothing, that family history becomes my family's future. And my family is too important to me for that. Take the risk factor assessment today at AskGreenNo.com. And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing my conversation with these two awesome people from West Georgia Cancer Coalition, the one and only Cheryl Avery Johnson and my new fabulous <laughs> friend, Nicole Adderley. You are really, I mean, you are the real deal. Thank you. You, you really <laughs> are. And Thank when you. we went to the break, you were sharing some things and I just want you to share it with our audience. When you first got the diagnosis. Yes, you asked me how did I feel, I gave up like, did I have a time where I panicked, cried, screamed? 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you surrendered. I did. I surrendered. I just I couldn't believe because nobody in my family had cancer, especially breast cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, so. I, and as a professional, what's your profession? Personal trainer. Right. So you're a <laughs> fitness, fitness person. Fitness. And massage therapist, mm -hmm. nutritionist. You know, so I was shocked because I told Dr. Smith, Kenneth Smith, like. You got the wrong person. It's not. It's a me. mistake. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. But he's like, no, you do. It's right? you. And it so you me. were going to surrender. Yeah. And then Cheryl did oh, what? Wow. Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl, and my BFF who called her, Bridget Alcide, she was like, no, you can't give in. We prayed because being mm -hmm. a believer, fate is what brought me through all Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. You know. Yes. And either way. My, my, my disposition still is now, mm -hmm. right? Because a triple negative, there's no cure. Mm -hmm. Either way, I'm, I'm winning, you know, because to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. So yeah. either way, I win, whether yes. I'm here, Right. Helping and making sure that. But you're winning right now here I'm in the winning. flesh. <laughs> she's a thriver. Yes. I mean, she's amazing. Right. Nicole. And, and let me say this throughout her treatment, mm -hmm. she continued to exercise, work out, and we would be so concerned about it. It was hot. She was bicycling on the river walk. Bicycling? And I'm like, with having chemo and radiation? And I'm like, oh Nicole, my goodness. Chemo. what are you doing? <laughs> Can you please go home? You know, it was just, but but she is a um, just a, a fighter. And mm -hmm. when I tell yeah. you, you hear people complaining about the things. When I think about her, she gives me all the my goodness. And so Cheryl, you encouraged her to keep a journal. Yes, oh, I, yeah. was, I, I told her when she came in the office, I said, Nicole, I know you know you're going through a lot right now, but just write down some things and, and, and do what I call a journey journal. Uh -huh. And she A journey journal. journal. That's okay. right. Uh -huh. She took it to the extreme. So her <laughs> <laughs> She's an overachiever. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And so her journey journal was all on Facebook, but you know, she was even sharing that there were some people from Switzerland, just all over the nation uh -huh. that, yeah. you and know, all over the world, all that you were really helping contact. them as yeah, they were in absolutely. this fight. And they still contact me today. People still call. The other day I had to tell Cheryl I drove all the way to one of Roberts. I thought it was right around the corner. Yeah. Oh, you can tell she's not from here. <laughs> exactly. Right. So, yes. And when I went there and I told her, she's like, I should have called her first. But no, we have so many people who mm -hmm. are going through cancer and who don't understand what the journey is about. And it's not, it's not scary. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to have the right attitude. Right. You know, and you have to you have, have to fight. You have to be a fighter. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right attitude. And you have to have the support. You know. Right. Family and friends support and community support is important. Mm -hmm. I remember one time when I was attending something and I was playing with a little girl mm -hmm. and she asked me why I was bald and I mm -hmm. told her because I have cancer and she went back to her mom and told her mom, well, she has cancer and mm -hmm. her mom was like, well, you can't play with her, you can't talk to her and all that. Really? Yeah, she did. How you know what I wanted silly. to say to her? How mm -hmm. I wanted to hug her and say, you got three days. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. was nice. Because yeah. nice. nice. she silly teaches you to be nice. Yes, yes. Well, you know, her dad and her granddad, her famous grandfather, the one and only Reverend Avery, he tries, he has tried over the decades. He has moved on from work to reward, but he was the pastor of my, my family. And so we know her, her yes. breeding. Yes. So she's going to try good. to tell you to yes. do very good breeding. <laughs> yes. Right. And so with your family, how was it for your family? Because you've been this fitness person, massage therapist, nutritionist, and you of all people, yeah. you know, this physically fit, doing everything right kind of person. How did your family receive that? Well, it was difficult on my son. I have a son who's a former UFC fighter and MMA uh -huh. fighter. He works for Sport, um, NBC Sports. Uh -huh. And he took it really hard, uh -huh. right? So he came down when he saw me and I was bald when I'd send it. He, it, it was challenging for him. He would cry because he wasn't used to seeing me in a vulnerable position yes. like that. And I, my sister at the time would go with me to chemo, every chemo session, because my best friend, who is my caregiver, who set all of this up, right. had with me with Cheryl. She would make a schedule of who's going to go with me this time. She would come every day and walk with me. Really? And, and when she says, are we going to go for a walk? She'd say, we're not going to walk Columbus today. You're uh -huh. just going to go for a little walk. And I'm right. like, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready to quit and you want to keep walking. <laughs> right. Right. And make sure I eat and things like that. So with the community, you know, Columbus is a great community. Uh -huh. I, I tell you, if there was any place I would rather be uh -huh. during my journey was here. You, you have know. wonderful resources wonderful and great resources. advocates. Great advocate, my mm -hmm. uncommon athlete family, my, my, the two people, the two 
entities that mean so much to me, West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition, please donate to them, uh -huh. um, and also Uncommon Athlete. If it uh -huh. wasn't for those two um, uh -huh. businesses, right. along with my caregiver uh -huh. and my family, I don't think I would be, and my church, the Bridge Church, I would not be here today. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with the Bridge. My yeah. nephew is a minister, and he's married to your pastor's baby sister. Oh. See, so you never know uh -huh. how we know Exactly, yes. six degrees of separation. <laughs> yes, it is, yes. And so, Cheryl, you know, you try very hard. You will run people down. You're trying to raise money. <laughs> now, when it comes to that, she has no shame. No. Ditto. You know, I learned. She's reserved <laughs> on some things, but when it comes to that, it's truly your passion. And people yeah. that know you know that. So, what do we? What should we be doing? Ongoing, because I know you have your exactly. once a year, but people should be able to write a check absolutely all year, and especially when they make out their annual budgets absolutely. like corporations. That's right. You want them to build that in. That's right. To include the West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition as the charity of choice, mm -hmm. uh, we you know during October we do Pink Sunday. And we ask churches you know mm -hmm. to consider us, but all year long. We have cancer patients that are coming to us uh -huh. wanting assistance through the Neighbors Helping Neighbors Cancer Assistance Fund. Uh -huh. So that's ongoing. Uh -huh. And my dream, my, my dream is to have an unlimited wealth of resources for those cancer patients who need help when they're going through life. And, and, and you and, have no and, shame. And you, I, what, do, what do we say? You have not because, because you ask not. not. <laughs> so you have no shame when it comes to that. But that's okay because you are saving lives. Yes. And, and keeping families together. Right. Yes. That's, yeah. that's, that's what's important. And we have, you know, single moms that are going through mm -hmm. um, having to make a decision, you know, whether or not I pay my rent or I pay this copay or I get food mm -hmm. to eat for, you know, for the children. Mm. And so that that's the reason why we're here to help, you know, with them. And they also help with getting you, if you don't have insurance, they mm -hmm. also help with give, making sure you get insurance, find the insurance for that. They also offer free uh, mammograms, yeah, monthly free oh, prostate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They offer, West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition does so much that mm -hmm. the community does not, is not aware of. Right. So that's why it's important to donate mm -hmm. locally, mm -hmm. even gifts of stock, yeah, you know? Absolutely. So we're very passionate yeah. about, I'm very passionate about it because mm -hmm. I know what it did for me. It saved you know? your life. It, exactly. exactly. If it wasn't for West Central Georgia Cancellation, Cancer Coalition. Coalition, <laughs> right. 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 Coalition and Bridget Elsie, I will not be sitting here today. Okay. I will not be sitting here today well, that's because they wonderful. did everything, everything in their power to make, and they, they don't just do it for me. Right. They're doing it for so many others, even to this day. Right. There's a young lady who has brain cancer and lung cancer. Mm. We have men with prostate and They're doing it for anybody with cancer. And not just women. And right. not just okay. women. Right. Well, what too. we're going to do, we're going to take our final break, go to our sponsor and we'll be right back. Okay. We'll be right back after word from some of our sponsors. Straight Forward is brought to you by Warrior Outreach. Contact Command Sergeant Major Retired Sam Rhodes or Kathy Rhodes. The Hugel Foundation, enriching the community through Christian music support, community outreach, and the Georgia Through Photography Project. For more information, call B at 706-568-6431. Progressive Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1952. The George Ford legacy of high standards continues today in the compassionate and professional services provided. A touch of dignity for those who care. Progressive Funeral Home, 4235 St. Mary's Road, trusted by generations. Best Care, transforming minds and bodies, leading the way in the latest techniques of medical weight loss and wellness. Certified in family medicine and bariatrics, Dr. Blunt is ready to assist in the transformation of your mind and body. Call today, 706-221-6477 or visit bestcarecolumbus.com. East Alabama Endocrinology, educating and caring for those living with diabetes in Alabama and Georgia. 1400 Bradley Lake Boulevard, 3320 Skyway Drive, Suite 602, Opelika. Take charge of diabetes and live your best life. State Senator Ed Harbison, serving the citizens of Georgia's 15th Senatorial District and on the front line for veterans every day. 
Walmart's reason for supporting Thurgood Marshall College Fund is simple. We like to win. And we have been given a lot of exposure to some, to some incredible talent. And we also believe that it's a part of our responsibility to the community to give back. This is a great opportunity to do both. It's been a wonderful experience for us through the years. We've appreciated our partnership. We believe in return on investment, and we have definitely had a remarkable return. I'm Drew Brees, and being a dad means the world to me. And one of the most important things any parent can do is make sure their kids get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. And welcome back to Straightforward. I'm continuing this awesome conversation with the fabulous Nicole Adderley and the one and only Cheryl Avery Johnson. You all are on a mission. I am excited. Your energy level and your enthusiasm about what West Georgia Cancer Coalition has done for you, yeah. uh, it, it just speaks volumes. And Cheryl has to take you out on the circuit That's right. because if anyone is holding tightly to their checkbook, you will make them just with your right check. Write that check. Right. She is a marketing person. I'm she you, needs that's to be why, with that's you why, everywhere that's why that she's going. <laughs> right. Write a check. But before we went to the break, you were sharing that we have some men. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have. We, we we've connected um, with uh, a local man, um, Mr. Mm -hmm. Shane McClung, who's actually going through breast cancer, and so he told me that anytime you know, he, mm -hmm. he would like to speak with, that we needed him, he would be more than willing because one in 100, uh, one out of 100 men will get breast cancer. And so we just ask men to be vigilant. And if you don't get the answer you want, mm -hmm. and that's for women too, go to get a second opinion or a third opinion or, mm -hmm. because we know our bodies. You know what's normal and what's, what's not. With and you can body. kind of tell when things are changing. That's right. Yeah, and absolutely. I remember the first person we heard of was Shaft. Yes. You know, or it was like, oh, mm -hmm. Lord, Shaft. Country. You know, because <laughs> the image that we had seen in the movies was far from someone That's having right. cancer. Having and so cancer. West Georgia Cancer Coalition, you are serving men as well. Yes. And you said prostate cancer. Prostate. In March, we do a big campaign with colorectal cancer because mm -hmm. March is colorectal cancer awareness month. January, cervical cancer. So we cover the broad spectrum, but what we do do focus on is advocacy for those that are in need. Mm -hmm. We provide the screenings for those that are uninsured and underinsured, and we provide outreach and education to the community as well as provide financial resources. And uh, the to education people. to the community, which she said we got to get the message out yes. to everyone. Yes. It's free. Yes, absolutely. When you go out and do it, so there is no excuse there is no for excuse. community. It could either be it, it could either be your homeowners association, right? Absolutely. Instead of always going just talking about getting money to fix the fence or the grass that's in right. the subdivision. We that's can. information because it it's people that live in neighborhoods and subdivisions that's sick. That's mm -hmm. right. I Absolutely. know some of my neighbors that right. have had that, that battle. Right. But when you said underinsured, yes. I know you are a social worker, but explain that to our lay people. What well, does that mean? Underinsured is um, sometimes if you have a high deductible, $5,000, and your insurance will not pay for certain procedures mm -hmm. or they're too cost prohibitive, mm -hmm. that's where we step in. That's where we can come in and assist with that. So okay. if it's a, a clinical breast exam or a mammogram or a diagnostic you know, mammogram or an ultrasound, mm -hmm. uh, we receive funds from the breast cancer license tag that's another way that we receive grant funds so, oh see so yeah, people so if, need to get that license want, plate and right. then you all get a percentage we will we write for a grant and we just applied this year so mm -hmm. hopefully in uh, January we'll get uh, get notification that we'll have well we're gonna claim you will that's be right. getting it we, in January. we've gotten it every year so we're gonna get it this yeah, year Yeah, and you have a very good track record absolutely a lot of people don't understand when you write for grants you have to be able to show 
know Absolutely. how successful you've been with That's the money. Right. It's right. not just requesting it. So you could just take Nicole, That's just right. do a commercial. That's I right. Mean, <laughs> That's right. And right. Gonna go they with. also got a grant for what West Central Judges. Right, survivorship, the exercise program. I'm also right. on that program with them where we cancer retrain. If you're a cancer patient mm -hmm. and your doctor's cleared you that you can work out, mm -hmm. they have... Um, Received some grant yeah, funds. Yeah, they have call, collaborated with YMCA, an uncommon athlete, mm -hmm. and making sure that cancer patients get the exercise that is needed. So again, there's they try to do, West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition mm -hmm. try to do as much mm -hmm. and educate the community as much as they possibly can. And wonderful. Especially with cancer support patients. Support services as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, like you said earlier, we're not taking away from American Cancer Society no. because they do research. Mm -hmm. But what they do is they take care of you. Right, West you know, Georgia, support we're taking West care of the people take, here taking care of in our locally. community. And 100% yes. of it does go to, I'm a, I'm a witness, 100% <laughs> of it does go. And She's your best cheerleader. And, and, and you know what, Nicole, when she was going through her treatment, I said, mm -hmm. I need for you to be one of our ambassadors because yes. that's what we like to, you know, so someone can see where their money that's being donated. Right. This is a living example right. of, of what we do and why we so do So they won't we do. think that Cheryl got their donation and, and bought a beach house. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> I wish you would buy a beach house, you know, house, but not right. with the no, donations. You can really vouch for her <laughs> you know what? Someone one can donate a beach, beach house, house and, and you can use have it for cancer survivors. Exactly. That's, what yeah, we that's a good do. idea. I'm that's sure right. Nicole will work on that that's for right. you. Yeah, I'm putting it into the atmosphere yeah, exactly. as my endless amount of money uh, that's going to be coming yes, into the coalition. Yes, and it will be coming in in the new year. Okay. So by 2019, we're hoping to have raise at least a million dollars. Okay. So that's the goal for, for, for 2019 for Speak West Central. Speak those things that are not as, as if they, they are. are. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Nicole has said the goal she is a million. Yes. Right. So now, give. If we, if we have people watching and they yes. want to write a two million dollar check. Right. Right. We take that too. Okay. We take that. But I want you before we run out of time yes. tell people where they can find you. What the hours are. Okay. And how they can reach you. They can reach us at uh, 633 19th Street Suite B mm -hmm. uh, WCGC cc.org. We're on Facebook, West Central Georgia Cancer Coalition, Paint the Town Pink, which is coming up October 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, we can be reached at 706-660-0317. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 until 5, but of course I work 24-7. You never sleep. I never Just sleep like you said, sleep. she was on holiday <laughs> and they and made she, that connection she because made it. You, she made you it work. And right. she still does it for others. Yeah. Oh, you know, know, she still does it. Well, you know, she had that training. <laughs> right, from her born, grandfather. Her grandfather had <laughs> sold all those things. Right. And so yeah. now she's just walking. You know, it, it really is a blessing to be a blessing to others. It I'm is. truly blessed to be a blessing. And so, you know, we just encourage anyone, you mm -hmm. know, who's interested to, you know, check to us reach out, out. To and reach out. There. And we're, you know, we're all there. Right. Well, thank you, ladies, so thank much. It's truly us. been a pleasure. Truly. And we have to have you back. Sounds like a plan. All right. <laughs> this has been straightforward. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Until next time, be blessed.